Hello and welcome to the vlog. This was like my first week back in LA. Here is me, you know, just slaying, boarding the plane, period. You guys, I have arrived looking crazy. Um, my mom is picking me up, Ellie, Stan, Ellie. Hopefully she's bringing Teddy, maybe, we will see. Anyways, my skin is like peeling. It's actually going crazy right now, but I hope you can hear me, but I'm here in LA. I have been making memes, literally the entire flight, I just made memes, they didn't have Wi-Fi on my plane, and I also uploaded, I told you guys in a live, I was like, I was going through my demos, right, for the album, and I was listening to Let Me Leave, and I was singing it, and I was like, Midnight Breeze, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta make a funny TikTok, people don't get my sense of humor, there's like so many haters, but they follow me, they're like leaving negative comments, but they follow me, so let's welcome, welcome them into the Kincaidian family, it's still early enough for you to change your mind. We welcome you here with love. We are a place of love, positivity. I'm literally gonna show you the meme. I'm making so many memes, but I'm making, go to my Instagram to see them all, but I'm going to make a Kincaidian meme because this is seriously our values. And yeah, you guys just mean so much to me. Anyways, Soleil, I'm literally sweating. I'm sweating, I need to take a shower. I need to eat something, I'm so hungry. I had like a protein bar this morning and a protein bar on the plane, but I'm starving now. It is Teddy Bear. Do you want to say hi to the Kincaidians? Yes? No? Yes? I missed you so much. I love you. We love you. People in California cannot drive. Granted, I learned how to drive in California, but no, I learned how to drive in, oh my God. I learned how to drive in Kansas, you guys. Fun fact, I literally got my permit when I was 14 because in Kansas, like it's so young because I guess back in the day, kids needed to drive tractors. <laughs> Anyways, this is a little chaotic video. I'm going to the beach um, where I always go. You guys know my EP, Ellie doesn't miss me. Like, it, the beach is healing. Water to me is healing. Maybe it's because I'm a Pisces. I'm a double, like, my sin is in Scorpio too. So maybe that has something to do with it, like the water signs. I don't know. But, um, ah, uh, it feels so good to be back doing these vlogs. Like, truly, I don't know. Like, like I told you guys, like, it really does. I know I always say this. You're probably like, Lily, we get it. Like, stop but it's freaking lonely sometimes like i spend a lot of time by myself there's there's days i could like just be completely isolated because it's what i do and i love what i do like i love music but like it is isolating at sometimes and i don't know this feels very fun and very therapeutic and we have some things we're going to talk about we're going to talk about situationships we're going to talk about you know how to be confident how to meet new friends so i'm very excited and also like is a little psa if there's anything you want me to discuss over these next videos. I don't know how often I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna try to do them like every day so they're little like five minute clips. That way if you're busy with homework or things, um, it's not too long. But if there's anything you want me to discuss or you need help on, please let me know. Like that's literally what I'm here for. I literally say like, I'm your guys' big sister. Even if you're older than me, can we be, we're, we're siblings. We're siblings, I'm here to give you advice. We are going through life together. That's what I said, like I don't have it figured out. I, I definitely, oh my God, it's so sunny guys. I cannot see, I can't even see. This is bad, I can't see, oh my God. Okay, wait, it's green. Um, I knew you guys were gonna die. Don't die on me. Okay, I have to go because then I'm gonna be on the freeway. But um, yeah, we're going through life together. Life is not meant to be done alone. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. But you know what? We're here for each other, and we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be okay. Um, I will see you guys at the beach. Let's go. Okay, what should I listen to on the way there? Okay, wait. Can we have fangirl? Oh my god, what is it? Why is this coming up? Mimi. Oh my god. Um. I was gonna say, I've been listening to Noah Cyrus's album. Uh, amazing, every song, so good. Every song, so good. So that's my recommendation for the day. Listen to um, Noah Cyrus's new album. What is the name of it? Oh my God, what is the name of it? You know what it is, it's beautiful. The cover is beautiful, like she is amazing. She truly is so talented. But um, yeah, her album is amazing. I'm gonna blast that and I will see you guys at the beach. Okay, I love you. I told you that no matter what you did. I'd be by your side. Okay, good morning, guys. It's the next day. It is Thursday. Um, I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna make these like a couple days long each because there's so much I need to talk about. But then my phone died yesterday. I went to the beach with my friend and then I literally fell asleep cuddling Teddy on the couch. He is so cute. I love him so much, but I'm going to 
work for a little bit and write my bangs what a, what is happening with my bangs i don't know but then um i think i'm gonna go for a drive and get like coffee or matcha and there's so much i want to talk about we're gonna talk about situation tips and kind of like how you can get over them um and yeah i really am obsessed with pink eyeshadow right now i don't know why it's just so fun i did like three different shades of pink and then i did pink glitter i'm loving it i'm loving it um yeah slay it is now time to write some hits hello you guys okay i just got out of the shower and i'm currently going to blow dry my hair this is what i do to separate my bangs everyone always asks i literally either just let them air dry or i just with a round brush nothing fancy i'm trying to get better i like hairstyling and things but i kind of left you guys hanging because i've been so overwhelmed but that's okay it's okay to be overwhelmed um because last night i was up it felt like a fever dream. At first, I did not know it was real because I felt myself... I fell asleep on the couch, first of all. Um, I was watching a TV show with my mom and Taylor was doing Midnight Mayhem on TikTok, right? And so I'm in this fever dream of like, oh my God, we're finally getting a Taylor and Lana song. And I like literally thought it was a dream. I had to wake up at this morning and make sure it was real. But I was like texting all my friends like, get up. It's happening. Snow on the beach. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's that's kind of... <laughs> that's just what's been happening today. I've been like doing a bunch of work on my computer and I, I was just like on a long walk um I started reading a new book it's called you were here too let me I'll be right back one second here is my lovely little kindle um I started reading a new book uh like two days ago and I just was reading a little bit of it I want to find out the name I love my kindle one day they will sponsor me amazon kindle you'll sponsor me period okay the book is called you were there too, and let me is by. It is by Colleen Oakley. You were there too by Colleen Oakley. Slay! I am fifty percent done with it, so I will give you guys a full little review once I finish it. But yeah, I've been making some cool like. I'm releasing the music before the end of the year. We all know that, right? It's being worked on. It's finishing like the mastering and not my side of things, but like the mixing and that. So it's like in that process. Um, but I've been, you know, coming up with other creative things. I have been making some videos, some edits. So I'm gonna work on that. One of them is really good. It's taking me forever, but it's gonna be so cool. Um, but yeah, we, we still have a lot to talk about. Don't you even worry, we're gonna talk about it. Um, I'm gonna let my bangs dry <laughs> so they don't look too crazy. But, um, but yeah, we are slaying and I don't know. I just, I wanna be able to encourage you guys. I wanna be able to encourage you guys. I feel like this is a good, we're gonna have a really deep conversation in a little bit once I fix my hair, because otherwise I cannot. I, I'm pulling out the colonial po ponytail. Not really. Well, I just clipped it back so that my bangs can like dry. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay. I will see you in a few minutes. My skin is clearing up though too, which is making me happy. The weather and the allergies of going from like it being super hot, and humid in Nashville, and even really hot in LA to cold, like freaked out my skin, and it was peeling. You guys, it was peeling because in Nashville it got so cold um, in the mornings. So it's finally healing now. We're drinking water, we're hydrated, we're slaying. We're writing hit songs, we're slaying, we're slaying. You guys, this is horrible lighting. This is horrible lighting, but I, these vlogs are gonna be longer because I'm gonna combine multiple days. I still, we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm gonna talk about it tomorrow morning. Last clip you saw of me was probably me playing the piano, writing some songs. I went to my friend's little work thing she was doing and saw her give a little speech. And then I was like, you know what? I really want yogurt, which is my favorite vegan. You guys know I'm vegan. I can always talk about that more too if you want, but okay, look. Pumpkin spice vegan, like frozen yogurt. It is amazing. It tastes like fall. It's officially fall. It's officially fall. I'm now with my mom at the mall and we're gonna make some TikToks because we love TikToks. We love. Okay. Ellie and I made some TikToks on the roof. <laughs> what a sleigh. You know, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Get dressed up and find a cool places to make TikToks. Why not? Why not? Look at this beautiful sky. Look at the moon right there glowing. We love, we love, we love, we love. Hello, you guys. Okay, I have a special little friend here. <laughs> this is my dog, Daddy, if you don't know. He is a, the sweetest little, look at him. He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. It's okay, you can sit on my lap. He is the sweetest, like literally. He is an angel on earth. I call him my angel baby because he literally is, is like a little angel. 
He is my little angel, my little, oh my God, look at him, my little dog, look at him. Teddy, look at him. Now he's looking at me, I love you. I love you, do you know that? I love you so much, I love you. I love you, I love you, yes I do. Okay, lay down, lay down. I'm sorry you guys, like, I love him so much. Anyways, um, I wanted to sit down and I'm about to go to dinner with a couple of my friends. Oh my God, he's so cute. Oh my God, I can't. This is, I get so distracted during the day because I literally just like sit here and I cuddle him. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys about situationships. I posted this thing where I was like, you guys, I know it's gonna hurt, but like you have to almost like rip the, rip the bandaid off. And I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Like some things that, you know, I've done in the past when I've been in situationships and things, he's so distracting, but he's so cute. So it's fine. Um, and things that, you know, I think can kind of help. First off, this really sucks but you you have to start seeing everything as it is like what i would recommend is i would recommend talking to a close friend who also knows this person who can kind of see it all and being being like i need the truth it's so easy for us to like when we like somebody it's so easy for us to like put them on a pedestal and start to color things through different lenses and different viewpoints for example you could be like oh they're not texting me back oh it's because they're busy but it's like in reality it's like no they're just not texting you back because they don't want to um, so whether it be a journal or talking to a friend, I love journaling. I think you need to get the thoughts out of your head. So either talk to a close friend or get a journal or your therapist, whatever, whatever you have available to you and just kind of assess the situation in the reality light that it's in, like assess the situation because oftentimes it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. We don't want to believe it. We don't want to believe it. And plus too, if you're somebody who's very empathetic, like we see the best in people. And it's hard sometimes when you can see the best in somebody, but they're not ready to see the best in themselves yet. And that's something that I'm, I had to learn and I'm still learning. It's like, you can want something for somebody, but like, it's not until they want it for themselves or it's like, but that applies to every area of life. Like there's some people who it's like, oh my God, I wish I could like teach them this, but you know what? Sometimes people have to figure it out on their own first and then they're able to, you know, have that lesson. But my first situationship literally to end it step is like start seeing everything in daylight and don't just think it in your head you need to physically write it down and or i would recommend doing both you need to say the words out loud to a friend because let me just tell you when you write it down it's gonna hurt but when you tell when you talk about it to somebody else it's gonna hurt even worse but it's a good hurt it's a good hurt because it's it's like you 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 will start to realize you're like oh my god why was i putting up with that like, why do I keep prioritizing this person when they're placing me fourth, fifth, sixth on their list? Like, this person doesn't really care about me in the ways I, I think they do. Um, so that's like step number one, I would say. And then step number two is you're going to probably have to go no contact for a little bit or block whatever it is you feel comfortable with, honestly. It also depends on the person. Like, if there's somebody who, who knows that they're kind of using you or manipulating you and they're pushy, like, they'll send flirty texts or they'll do that, then I do recommend blocking them. Um... Deleting their phone number is great too. And just something like unfollow them on social media or if you don't want to unfollow them because it would cause drama, mute their posts so you don't see their story. Um, and also during this time I would, okay, that's step number two is to like, you don't want to see them. Out of sight, out of mind. So mute, block, unfollow, whatever it is you feel comfortable with. Um, you can even tell if you have mutual friends, you can tell them, hey, like I need to take some space from so-and-so. So like when we hang out, let's just do it us together, whatever it is for you. Step number three is... I want you to find a new hobby, whatever it is, new hobby. It could be a new, it could be anything. Honestly, it could be a new book series you're starting. It could be a new TV show you like to watch, something new. I want you to replace that. Not re You're not replacing that person, but I want you, your mind to be engaged on something new. Preferably not screens would be the best. Like maybe it could be you, you're taking a new dance class. You are going to learn some new recipes. You are gonna go visit this new place with some friends that you've always wanted to go to. You're learning a new language. You are learning to knit. You're learning to color like a new instrument, whatever it is, just something new. It could be, you wanna start doing hot girl walks. You wanna start going hiking, whatever it is. I want you to start something new and that's gonna be like you, your you time. That's gonna be your self-care you time. You're gonna put on your good music. You're gonna put on some 1989 with stuff. You're gonna blast new romantics. You're gonna, you're gonna vibe. You're gonna vibe. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You're gonna scre scream real um, cause that will definitely that will definitely have, you know, you in the right headspace because it is true. You do need to feel the feelings. That's why I was like, you need to write them all down. You need to feel the feelings because guess what? It was real. It was real. But, you know, just because it was real doesn't mean that it's good for you. And now you're in a better place and you are stronger than before. My step number four is 
you're gonna get it. This is like very important. You can do it on a phone or a laptop, but I recommend getting a sheet. Teddy's asleep on my lap, I can't. Oh my God, he's so cute. Um, you're gonna get a sheet of paper and you're going to like draw a line down the middle or fold it in half. And on one side, you're gonna write all the things you miss about this person. It's gonna be kind of sad, this is emotional, but light, light your favorite candle, have your favorite drink, have your favorite coffee, um, whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable, wear your favorite PJs. I love wearing my like cozy little sweats and sweaters whenever I'm sad or like missing a stupid boy that I should not be missing because they don't deserve it. That's okay, it's just a temporary feeling, it will go. But I will write down everything on like the left side of the paper that I miss about this person. So whatever it is that you're missing, every time you're tempted to reach out to this person, think about why, what is it, what is it? Is it you just want somebody with you because you don't wanna be alone? Is it you miss how this person made you feel special? You miss how this person had a lot of friends and so you always felt included? You miss how this person made you laugh? Whatever it is, write all those down. Get as specific as possible. And then on the right side of the paper, this is where you get to be creative and you can also do this with friends too. Um, but on the right side of the paper, you're gonna write down a way that you can now get that same feeling without that person that is not good for you. So for example, it could be, I love how he always made me laugh or I love how they always made me laugh. Um, how can you laugh without that person? Maybe, do you have that one friend that's super funny that literally is the funniest person ever and you always have a great time with them? You know what, why don't you text, text them, text her, call her and invite her to dinner or say, hey, can we hang out tomorrow or something? Or it could be, oh my God, I wanna watch a comedy show or something. I wanna watch a really funny TV show. Let me look for the funniest TV shows. Or maybe it's, oh, I wanna watch like a, there's a comedy club nearby. I wanna go see a comedy show, whatever it is. Or or it could be like, I wanna look at memes. I love memes, I love making memes. Making memes makes me laugh. Like I, I thoroughly spend hours making memes because I love so much. But whatever it is, I want you to find a solution that you can do now because you can. If it's, I miss how, I miss how I felt important to this person. Well, what are some things you can do now to feel important to other people? Like if you like feeling important to this person and like you were able to care for them, what can you do now? Um, do you have pets? Is there friends pets that you can take care of? One of my biggest tips is to start volunteering. Truly that boy is going to seem like nothing when you are like doing the same thing. Like you're spending your time, you're spending your energy, your words of encouragement, but you're actually helping people who genuinely you can see the impact you're having on their lives and you are able to like just help them out, whether it be like you're making food for the homeless, you are starting a trash cleanup with your friends where you guys go pick up trash and you're helping the environment. It could be you are starting to collect donations. So you're going around to people and asking for donations for clothing and you're gonna bring it to a woman's shelter or you're gonna bring it to a children's shelter, whatever it is, that can make you feel very important to people because you are actually making an impact and that can kind of replace that feeling. Those are just two examples, but do you kind of get what I'm saying? Like if it's like, I just want a company, okay, well reach out to one of your friends and make a movie night together. Like you have to do part of the work too. It's a, everything is a two-way street, relationships are a two-way street. But basically I want you to start doing that for everything because here's the thing. I know it sucks, this is the hardest part, It's it sucks. But if you want those good people to come into your life, those people that are genuinely excited for you when good things happen, who support you, who believe in you when you don't have the faith to believe in yourself at some moments, you have to let go of the people that are not, not meant for you. You have to let go, and I know it's hard because you have to sit in this weird, uncomfortable period of like, oh my gosh, I'm, I don't have friends, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not lonely. Like you have to sit in that weird in between where, you know, you may, you may have a lot of time and you may be isolated a lot. You may be working or going to school and then coming home and that's it. But I promise you, you've got to push through that. And you got to do all those steps that I talked about in that isolated period of time, because you're going to be a better version of yourself once you get out of that. And then the right people are going to come into your life because you have space now. Does that make sense? I hope it made sense. I can elaborate on that way further if you if you want me to. Um, but yeah, I know it's hard. I don't know. And here's the thing too. A big part of it, a big part of the situation chips that I think is something that not enables them, but a reason why people, we stay in them for long periods of time is it's for the hope of it all a little bit, you know, August, living for the hope of it all. But is the shame associated with it? Is the shame, and it's, you may not, not, oh my God, he's yawning. He's yawning. He's so cute. Teddy, you want to say hi? I love you. Um, not the shame of like, it's not like you feel ashamed, but it's like the shame associated with it where it's like deep down, you know that that person like is not treating you how they, how they should be treating you. Like deep down, you feel like me. I wrote a song called Crime Scene with No Evidence. Um, some of you guys have like seen me write it or, or play it live on TikTok, um, unreleased. But um, that song I wrote because I was like, it hurts so bad, but I feel silly for feeling it because there's no proof that it even existed, but I'm here to tell you that there is proof that it existed. You, you are proof that it existed. You do not need 
pictures. You do not need whatever. Like you are proof that it existed. And so you're allowed to be sad and feel those feelings. And I promise you like the right people are not going to make fun of you. The right people are going to understand like the fact that you, you have a heart that is able to love is such an amazing thing because the gift of giving love and being open to giving and receiving love is so amazing and special. And a lot of people these days are jaded, whether it's from trust issues or they're too insecure. They don't love themselves yet. Cause you have to be able to love yourself in order to love other people, whatever it may be, you have a gift. And I want you to, to keep, don't, don't let what happened to you in the past. Don't let what people have said to you. Don't let what, you know, what the haters say or have said to like, take that from you. Cause that is so special. You are a leader. You are somebody who is a giver. I believe I like, I want to encourage you guys all to be givers because you know, 90% of people are takers or are followers. And we are the givers and the leaders, the other 10% who, who are going to make a real difference. Okay. That was like a huge tangent, but I hope that made sense. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to talk into that further. Um, I'm going to go eat some dinner. I don't really know what's happening with this vlog. Maybe I'll end it here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm going to end it here. Cause this is going to be long. I like them kind of short, but then I also like them long. This was a good vlog. This is two days worth of this is like two and a half days worth of vlogging ish kind of, but, um, but yeah, I guess thank you for watching this video. I'm going to feel like a YouTuber. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like subscribe, follow me on the TikTok. You should text me. You should join the discord. It's all below. Um, but seriously, I love you guys. I'm very excited. I'm doing the next. Okay. Tomorrow's vlog is going to be a lot more. I'm doing a lot more music stuff and work, um, this weekend. So I'll keep you updated on that, but I love you guys. I hope this helped you share it with a friend invite somebody else to join the Kincaidian family because we are soon to be taking over. We are taking over. We're taking over. I love you. Teddy loves you. Molly loves you too. Molly is um, out with my dad, but Teddy loves you. Do you love, do you love the Kincaidians? Yes. Bye. We will see you in the next vlog.